Hi, Helen from crystalsandcrochet.com here. In this video tutorial, I would like to show you how to make two back post double crochet around the next two stitches together. Okay, this is one that confuses a lot of people because as soon as the word together comes in to the equation, immediately people think a decrease. Okay, this is not a decrease. You are making two stitches around two stitches. Okay, so let's have a look, see how it's done. Okay, so we are going to make two back post double crochets around two stitches. Okay, so we're going to yarn over for our back post double and then we're going to come around both of those stitches, okay? So I've got two posts that I'm around there. Yarn over and pull up your loop, but relax your tension. Don't pull it tight because what you don't want to do is strangle these stitches and pull them too tight together. So make sure that as you pull up that's on the looser side but the rest of your stitch will be absolutely normal. Okay, And then we're going to repeat that but always make sure that you go underneath the first stitch. Okay, So the second one is always at the bottom which means that as you turn over oops hold on I've got in the right muddle there let me round the two as you yarn over and pull up like that, your second stitch will sit in front of the first one. Now I'm right handed so obviously I work this way. If you're left handed exactly the same principle applies but you're just working the other way. So your second stitch is always in front of the first one. Okay and they sit around giving a much chunkier look. Okay, let me show you again. So we're going to go around the post of two stitches. Okay, so we've got two stitches there. Yarn over, pull up your loop, make your back post double. Repeat again, going underneath the first stitch. Now as I'm working this I do tend to keep flipping my work backwards and forwards because I just find it easier to do it that way. Okay, And as you make each one you can see that that's now dropped down. Okay, Let me do another one and you'll see that one that I've just made will also drop down. So you don't need to sort of keep fiddling with your stitches as you work along. Okay, You can see it's dropped down already. It's only that one that I've just done that appears a little bit tighter. Okay, So it's really effective. It just gives a slightly different and chunkier look than a normal back post double. But remember there are no decreases. So if you've got 10 stitches and you're asked to make two back post double crochet around the next two stitches together five times, you're still going to have 10 stitches. Okay? But you can see the difference. That's a normal back post double and that's when you've got two around two stitches together. Okay, thanks for watching.